Hello, welcome back everyone. In this video, we have 27th chapter Company Management. Lindu, differences between Managing Director and Whole Time Director. Actually, this is a book back question. But maybe an additional 3 mark question or 2 mark question. Avo, keka chances irukku. So, 3 points. Now, Managing Director, Whole Time Director. Two of them are Executive Directors. Now, what are the differences? We know that Managing Director is uh, he is interested with substantial powers of management. That is, the management is management of the majority of the powers of the managing director. Whole time director is a full time director. Company or day to day affairs of full time whole time director. Day to day management. Now, what are the differences? Power. Managing director is interested with substantial powers. In the word Marandradinga, substantial powers Yargitarkana, managing director. Abdina, majority of the powers vandu, managing director Kailada, irke. The power is vested, uh, sorry, power is stated in the terms of employment. Whole time director appoint Pandra Pave, our Kenana Seya power recovering and the employment contract lay Kudrupanga. Second point, prohibition. Uh, prohibition Lena Saldangana, or a managing director. Ala, Manager aga mudiyadu. Anna whole time director ala vandu manager avo director avo irukka mudiyum. Section 197 prohibits to act both the managing director and the manager simultaneously. Urutthar ala vandu, urutthar ala vandu managing director avo manager avo irukka mudiyadu. Adha vandu managing director ala vandu or manager aga mudiyadu. Anna sometimes a whole time director may be appointed as manager and director of a company. Whole time director venu na or manager avo director avo appoint pannikkala. Anna managing director appdi appoint panna mudiyadu. Third point. Concern, the third point leenna sol rangana appointment. Ippo whole time director appoint pannu appdi na meeting vetsu adil shareholders oda consent oda adhavadu or voting vetsu adil vandhu three fourth majority oda special resolution pass pannu no. Adhavadu nooru pair rukkanga appdi na and the whole time director appoint pandadhukku oppudal kudukkunu appadi irundhada oru whole time director appoint panna mudiyum idhu vandu managing director ku indha mari formalities edhuvum kedaiyadhu inge parunga first idha paathittu idha paakalam consent of shareholders of the company adhavadhu shareholders order permission avangalude anumadhi thevapadudhu by a special resolution 100 per irukkanga na 75 per adhukku vandu oppudal kudukkunu is a must for the appointment of a whole time director. So, shareholders order, anumadi order, or a special resolution pass panni da, whole time director appoint panna mudiyu. And a managing director paranga, consent of the shareholders of the company by means of resolution is not necessary for the appointment of managing director. Or managing director appoint panna dhukku, in the madriyana consent of shareholders or special resolution or edhuvu thewai illa. Last point, Duration of appointment. The managing director purutha variko. Once appoint pani tanga abdi na. Ettana varsha avre managing director arkla abdi na. Five years. Ana whole time director ka andha madri duration ne dumu kade yade. No individual can be appointed for more than five years at a time. So managing director or period of office. Ada ada avre de tenure evlon patinga na five years. Ana whole time director ka andha madri restrictions illa. There is no such restriction. Regarding the appointment of a whole time director. So all these are the differences between managing director and whole time director. Hope you all understood. Thank you.